Welcome, everybody, back to the cave. We are going to be doing something a little different today. Normally, we stream on Saturday nights. But we started a segment a couple weeks ago called Kicking It with Kickstarter, where we highlight, talk to the creators of the game, and then we learn a little bit about the game before the game comes out so you can get excited. And I was excited when I saw this game pop up on the Facebook for two reasons. One, it's a board game. And two, it's hockey. Who doesn't love hockey? In fact, my stream was late last night because I had to sit there and watch my team lose in the final minute. So, with that being said... Let's get into the game itself. Let me make sure I click on everything correctly, too, because last time I did this, I forgot to turn on my microphone, and it screwed me up. I can hear me now. I knew I messed it up last night when I started messing with these buttons. Knew it. It's okay. <laughs> Happens. All right. So. Yep. Hello. I'm Artie. RT. Okay, Artie. Uh, so, first of all, I think I told you this in our text messages that I'm super excited about this game. Thank you. Uh, for two reasons. Me, me too. Board game <laughs> and hockey both mix. And I was just telling them that uh, <laughs> I, uh, I stream normally on Saturday nights at 10 o'clock, but my team was playing last night. Uh I thought I could come down at 10 o'clock and do this because we was losing. And, oh. and I was like, there's no way we're catching back up. We've been playing like crap all night. And, of course, I heard my wife upstairs yelling. So <laughs> before I even hit stream, I went up there. We was tied somehow. I don't know how they did it. But we ended up losing anyway. So, But anyway. Well, let, let's see if you can have your revenge on me today. Okay, okay. <laughs> So what are we looking um, at here? All right. So uh, what do we have here uh, is called Trick Shot, and as you can probably clearly see, it's a game of ice hockey yes. uh, on tabletop. So what we try to do here is to basically take the nature of hockey, which is determined by the speed with which everything happens, and try to translate it on tabletop without without losing too much of it. Right. Okay. So. Uh, uh, if you played Blood Bowl, some things might seem similar to that, right? But it's much faster, uh, more streamlined, and easier to get to the table and to explain. Okay. All right, so um, I'll just go uh, get to it, to, to the explanation. Uh, so uh, it's a game of ice hockey. We need to score the most goals to win. Uh, normally, you play a full game of three periods, but we can play one period and then we decide if we want to continue or not. Okay. Uh, the timer is happening over here. You move this uh, referee when he reaches the end. Uh, that will determine that the period has ended. And basically, we need to get the puck into the opponent's gate as much as we can. We'll start with the uh, face off. So go ahead and uh, roll your four dice. Okay. Um, okay, we, what we want to have is we want to have as many box symbols as we can. Okay. So I have one, uh, you have none, uh, so that means that I'm getting the puck. All right, good face-off win. Uh, thank you. I will see if I can actually capitalize on that. <laughs> so uh, how activation works uh, in, in trick shot is uh, you can activate uh, any number of players during your turn, but there are two limitations. Uh, first, you cannot activate the same player more than uh, once uh, in a row. So if I'm activating this guy in the middle, uh, I have to activate somebody else before I can move him again. Okay. And the second thing is that with every activation, I'm rolling an extra dice. So my first activation will be one dice, my second activation will be two, my third activation, if I'm lucky, will be three, etc. And I can do that as long as I'm not rolling any fails. Okay. And fails are those. Uh, crosses effectively. So let's see how that works. Um, yeah, one of the important things um, 
uh, of hockey is checking. And how this works in uh, Trickshot is that a player uh, counts as checked if that player first has the puck and secondly he's orthogonally adjacent to the opposing player. So my center over here is currently checked because he's right next to your center. Okay. And the che checked means that he cannot move, but he can do everything else. So I imagine I would like to pass somewhere. So let me try to do that. So I will take the puck and pass this to the defenseman over here. You can do passes on any distance, uh, but it has to be either diagonally or orthogonally. So I would not be able to pass to a player if the player would be here. Okay. And you have to pass to the player. So uh, you can pass to empty spaces, uh, but only with specific cards. But I'll get to the cards later, okay? Okay. So uh, I'm doing this activation first. I'm trying to pass the puck here. So I'm rolling the dice. Uh, okay, so I got the puck. Now, the puck symbol on itself uh, is nothing bad. It only becomes bad if accompanied with a fail. But I'll get to it after, uh, okay. uh, afterwards it's when it becomes uh, real. So I made the pass. Now I'll try to play a bit defensively, so I'll move my uh, defenseman over here, for example. Now players uh, moving uh, in the straight or diagonal lines, uh, all players move three spaces except defensemen who move two and the goalie who can only move one. Okay. Okay, so I move my def defenseman one space back and now that means that I'm rolling two dice. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, you can see that I've got to fail. Now, uh, movement action never really fails in the sense that it cannot happen that I moved, but they didn't, right? So I, I first I make the move, then I make a roll. Okay. Uh, so my move still happened, but unless I do a reroll, the turn will end. Uh, the rerolls are these guys over here on the bench. Ah, okay. So let's say if, if I if I don't like this result and I don't want. Uh, this fail to happen in my turn to end, I could flip them over and they will become uh, exhausted and then I can reroll my dice. The problem is that I have to reroll every result which is not a blank. Okay. And I don't feel like doing it right now. So I think I'm fine with this fail. Uh, I'm in the safer position. Puck is right here. I'll say, okay, it's your turn. Try and take it from me. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so, the uh, first thing you might want to know is how, how to actually take the puck from uh, another player. Yes. There are two ways to do it. Uh, one way is, uh, is the more safe way. Uh, it's called uh, a poke. So, to make a poke, uh, your player must be adjacent to the player with the puck. So, you effectively, you must be checking him. So, for example, if your player would be here, uh, you would be able to say, okay, I'm, I'm making a poke. You roll one dice, no fails, you get the puck. Easy enough, right? Yep. Uh, the second approach is hitting. Now, with hitting, we need to look at the size of the players. So it's very simple. Actually, we have three sizes. You have the defensemen who are the largest, and they're size three. You have center who is slightly uh, smaller than defenseman. He's size two, and the smallest ones, the wingers, they are size one. You can only hit a player who is the same size of you uh, as you or smaller. Okay. So defenseman can only be hit by defenseman. Gotcha. And the hit is very simple. You basically, uh, let's say this defenseman was here. Uh, you can, if he can reach the space where the target is, which he can, he, uh, the defenseman move, move up to two. Uh, he kicks the target out of that space, and then you roll the dice. If you succeed, you get the puck. Okay. But if you fail, you get a penalty, and the player is going right over there. Ah, okay, to the penalty box he goes. Yes, and the problem is that penalties cannot be re-rolled. Now, why did I say that the poke is more safe option? Oh, sorry, I think the puck was here. <laughs> yeah. Um, why did I say that the, the, the poke was more a safer option? If you roll a fail when making a poke, it's fine, you're okay. You only get a penalty during a poke if you roll double fail. Okay. All right. So that's probably already too much information, but go ahead and try no, to do something with this. <laughs> that is good information. So what the first thing I want to do is um, a good offense is a good defense. Sure. So I will... Uh, my first move is going to be... 
probably my well, my centerman can't move. So yeah, he can, he can, he oh, can, he can. He can move. Because only player with the puck, only the puck carrier is ever checked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Uh, so I'm gonna move my centerman three. Ah, but it must be in the same direction. So either diagonal or orthogonal. Got you. One, two. Then we're going to move him two. Sure. Like that. That works. Roll one. And I get to roll one die. This is my lucky die right here. I can tell already. All right. It was a lucky die. Uh, a puck does nothing unless it's accompanied by an X, and only when you make a pass or a shot. So right now it's the uh, same as a success. Okay. Uh, and then I get to move again. With, with a different... any other player, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. so let's go ahead and move one, two, and three. Let's get behind the defenseman. All right. Roll two die. Yeah. Two puck. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. So now at this point, I can use this guy again. Yeah. And I can use a poke. Uh, except you have to be checking me, remember? So you have to be orthogonal and adjacent. Oh, I gotta be adjacent too. Okay, so let's do... Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's the reason why I actually went there, so that it's not that easy for you to check I me. I see, okay. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and move then right here. Go ahead. Roll three. And I get to roll a three. Now we're starting to get into the number game here. Yep. Woo. But you're rolling like a god. <laughs> Everything is perfect. I did just pray to the dice gods, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, so... That means the puck is free? Uh, yeah, right now. So what happens now? You checked me. Yep. Because you're talking to Jason. So this guy will not be able to move. Aha. Uh, but in order to poke me, you still have to activate somebody else, remember? Got you. Okay, okay. So let's poke... So you have to, the, the, what this achieves is basically you you have to inevitably move most of your players. Uh -huh. Because you cannot just pick one player and they just keep activating, activating and rolling dice. It's it's more about the tactics. Now, what you can consider is to uh, maybe open a potential pass later on uh -huh. while, while you're not able to make a poke anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead. Because passes are straight lines or diagonals. Straight lines and diagonals with passes as well. Okay. Yes, and players uh, naturally block passes, so you cannot pass through a player. All right, let's keep the defense one there, and let's go one, two, and let's get this guy set up for a pass. All right. And then I can poke. Roll four. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Poking at five will be the, It's kind of dangerous. Uh. It's actually not that bad. So what happens, you, you rolled one fail, but... These are all blanks, so uh, if you want to, you can... We can re-roll? Uh, to to re-roll the, uh, the X. You, you, you don't have to re-roll all the dice, just just the ones with uh, symbols. Okay, so I so from looking here, it's looking like you've only, you only get three re-rolls, is that correct? Yes, ah. but there is a way to get them all refreshed. So basically what you, uh, what I haven't uh, explained yet, but I think this is uh, just the right time to do it, uh, is how line changes work in the game. So uh, you see these cards here? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, go ahead and grab these four cards into your hand. Oh, okay. Whoa, not the dice. <laughs> yeah, dice can stay. Okay. Okay, so these are the line cards. So normally, you uh, you select one uh, at the start of uh, of the game to be your current uh, current card. Uh, I, we just skip this for to simplify the explanation, but I think it's time we can actually start using these. Okay. So uh, select whichever one you like, and and just play it like this. Okay. Okay. So here's a here's a quick question, uh, just Go for ahead. setting up my next move. Uh, what is the distance of a pass? It's unlimited. Ah, okay. But as long as you can trace an uninterrupted straight line. Okay. Okay, so you have move and pass through other players. Yes, that's a perfect play considering your position here. So uh, here's the thing. So these, car these cards uh, represent the 
generalized ability of the five players who are currently on the field okay. on the ice. So when you do a line change, what would happen is uh, you would be able to this card would go, and you would be able to play a new card, right? Okay. And when you played all your cards, you get these cards back, and you have four of them representing twenty players. So this is how you kind of simulate releasing different players uh, with different play styles. Uh, uh, okay. Good. Like it. And you have to not naturally find the right moment to use the right players. Uh, now this is linked to the rerolls. Why I touch the cards now? Uh, when you spend rerolls, the players become exhausted. But when you do a line change, apart from changing the card, you also unexhaust all your players. Ah, okay. Thanks. The problem is to do this activation, and that ends your turn. So. Basically, let's say in this situation, you're very safe. You can just reroll this X, spend maybe uh, one of those, uh, maybe move another player, maybe you, you succeed, and then you do a line change, you skip your turn, and your turn, and you basically unexhaust this, uh, car, uh, the, this uh, set of players, uh, and that's it. Uh, the problem where it becomes tricky is, let's say you have something like, like so. So you have only one last reroll remaining. If you use it to reroll this and this still comes up as a fail, then you cannot do a line change anymore because you turn ends and ah. you have nothing to you see. And then at the, at the next turn, you're already without rerolls. So managing your rerolls is one of the key aspects of the game. Aha. All right. Okay. Now I explain to you 90% of the rules, I think. Wow, okay. So uh, now you can reroll if you want. Yeah, let's reroll. Why not? Flip All right. That one. Ugh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is this is. I'm usually rolling like this, <laughs> but don't worry. You can actually keep go. You can keep going uh, as long as you have rerolls. You can you can reroll. Oh, so let's. Uh, mm, do I want to do another reroll? I, I probably should since I'm behind the your whole team. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Well, with one dice, it's kind of safe, I guess. I guess. All right, let's. Oh, I flipped it, not rolled it. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Now it's good. Uh, so uh, that happened. That's fine. Now it's your fifth activation, and your choice is basically either do the fifth activation with five dice, or you can make a line change. Uh, I think, <laughs> man. <laughs> So I think my best move is going to be a line change. That's the only thing I, I think I should do. I think so. Yes, it's it's a safe bet. It's, yeah. I mean, sometimes I, I sometimes I play more recklessly and try to do uh, crazy rerolls, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is usually when I lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do let's do a line change. All right, uh, so. Uh, I suggest, considering that you didn't know how this works, and maybe you wanted this this card for when you actually have the pack, uh, you can play some other card and then place this as a replacement. But it's up to you. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 go as is. All right, then uh, flip it, uh, place it aside, and just play another one. And then you unflip all your players; they're unexhausted now. And the turn marker moves forward. Mm. Oh, let's go ahead and do this one then. That way I can be on the defense there. Your player is in the opponent's size. Ouch. Okay. Uh, right. So you're checking me. How do I? How do I want to approach this? Yeah. All right. Uh, that will, will be my first. Uh, so far, so good. Make a pass here. And great roll. Uh, Reroll this. Uh, receiving a, uh, a pass is not an activation, so th uh, this guy can still move. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, Ooh. so here's something new which we haven't seen. So uh, this here is a reaction symbol. 
Uh, now what will happen, unless I reroll this, you would be able to move one of your players one space orthogonally during my turn. Ah, okay, so now, this, the is question a, is, this is a yeah. this is a negative for the offense. Yeah, it, all the symbols are negative. It's always bad. <laughs> like, oh, okay. As long as you as long as you, you don't roll the the blank, uh, it's, in most cases, is bad. Okay, I'm seeing now. So, okay. The question for me is now: Do I want to reroll this? I think I should, uh, because it, uh, the thing is, if I don't reroll, uh, you're you you'll be able to move and be perfectly positioned to hit me. Uh, we don't want that, right? So uh, let me try to reroll this. <laughs> Great roll. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, actually, to be honest, maybe this is maybe this would be worse to reroll these now. So uh, so movement, uh, regardless how many fails you roll, it never ends up with something really, uh, except your turn will end. Uh, okay. So it's kind of safe. These are professional uh, players; they know how to skate. That's true. Don't That's mess true. Up. So. Uh, I think rerolling now would be even more risk. So I think I'll, I'll just I'll just say yeah, okay, sure, your turn. All right, let's do this here. We obviously want to come in here and smash this guy. Eventually, yes. <laughs> so let's roll. Let's roll. You know what? My team's very aggressive. Let's roll for a uh, for a check. You, you, you don't roll for a check. You, uh, basically, as soon as you move here, uh, he's checked already. Checked is a status, effectively. So okay. as long as you're next to me, that's it. But you roll for the movement now. Let's roll. Because you, you had to move there. All right. Good, okay, good that's roll. fine. Now I want to pummel him. Pummel him into, uh, the, into the boards. You could, but... You just moved that guy. That is true. <laughs> that is true. So let's go ahead and do this. My def... Uh, I mean, he only moves two. Uh, one, two, three. I could move him over. Wow, this... Is, okay, so what I'm liking well, one, already... One, one thing you have to consider. <laughs> one thing you have to consider. If you plan to hit this guy on the third activation, you, of course you can do this, but remember that... Uh, f penalties on a, on on a hit cannot be rerolled. So if you roll any fail on any of the three dice, this guy will get a penalty and your turn will end. <laughs> so question is, do you, will you actually gonna risk it or not? Because if you if you're gonna risk it, then you need to be here or somewhere on this line because your guy will kick my guy out, That's right? True. Uh, to, but if you're gonna poke instead, then you should be on this line instead. And not on this plane. So you have to plan ahead. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm already seeing that I'm liking uh, is it's a it's a intense game of it, chess. Because <laughs> I'm thinking okay. now, like seven steps ahead. Good. Except then dice. The dice uh, are the one. Yeah, the dice. All your plan goes to hell. <laughs> so I got like eight or nine scenarios here in my head that's like, well, none of that's going to matter if I roll this. All right. If you have eight or nine scenarios, I think I'm in trouble. Well, I'm looking through here and I'm I'm guessing only what I can do, not what you can do. So let's... Um, you know what? I'm going to risk it all. Ah, but you cannot move like this. Is that a penalty because, for all sides? Because it's a hockey, and we cannot make uh, that move because that would be an offside, yes. Offside. So basically how, how that works is uh, only a puck carrier can cross uh, gotcha. into the zone okay. unless the puck is already there. I was wondering about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. And yet my only move is yeah. here or here, and I think here would be my best move. Two dice. If you're in if you're intending to hit, then yes. I am intending to hit. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh. All right. That roll was fine. Yes. But now the important roll. This is this is the one I <laughs> fail. All right. So, so, so you're you're hitting this. Guy, I am right? going to be hitting. So what whatever happens, that already happened. Now the question is, do you get the puck or do you get the penalty? <laughs> no penalty. No penalty. Roll. 
Ah, oh, success! So you smacked me here. Oh, don't fly. Tabletop, it does weird things. It does. <laughs> okay, there you go. You got a puck perfectly, just as planned. But there is a reaction. Uh, so unless you want to reroll it, uh, I'll get to move my player. But that's probably not really recommended, considering that if you roll an X, then it's insta fail. Right. So I think I'm just going to allow you to move your guy. All right. So I see this guy who is in open position, so it's kind of scary. And I'll move my defenseman over here, one space, hoping for when you make a pass that I can make another move and check him. Ah, OK. OK, it's your turn. All four right. dice. All right, let's, uh, we are getting ready to roll four dice. So let's go ahead and move. All right, so what do I need to do? I can't cross the line yet. Let's, uh, you know what I could do is one, so one, two, three, four. I'll move this guy up one. All right. Uh, and we got to roll, so let's roll all four die. Ooh. Okay. Uh, a reaction and a fail. Do you reroll? I will reroll. Can you reroll more than one die? You you have to actually. It's one reroll, and you have to reroll everything which is not a blank. Got you. Got you. Got you. All right. So let's go ahead and flip this over real quick. And roll. Ugh. Uh, almost. But you can keep rerolling if you want to. Yep. This this all depends on this right here. No whammies? Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that guy moved. Now fifth activation, fifth dice. Mm. <laughs> this is getting dangerous. Let's, uh, man, I got the puck, and you got only one guy around, but you won't be able to, you won't be able to, you'll be able to check him, but you won't be able to hit him, correct? Uh, of the size? Hit, no, but I will be able to poke him. But you'll be able to poke, okay. Let's not, let's not allow him to poke. I'm going to do a fifth move. Go ahead. And I'm going to try to get away from this guy, and I think I can. Ah, but you're checked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to remember that. But you can pass. I can pass. Do I want to you, pass you, that guy? Sure, you can pass this guy. That guy's looking like he might do some damage. Sure, but, I mean, that brings your the puck uh, further, further from up. your yeah. goal and closer to my goal, right? So, all right, roll five. Let's see if we get if we're gonna get some funny results. Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Boom! Wow! Perfectly rolled. Now, uh, I'll ex quickly explain what, what what the puck symbol is for because this is a good example. So, let's say you would roll something like this. So, what would happen? Your turn would end. Well, unless you reroll, but because there's you just made a pass, and there were two puck symbols. The puck would just veer off. So that would be an imprecise pass. Oh, okay. Neato. Okay, so th this is what the puck is for. And you have one fail, one re two puck symbols on every dice. Okay. So let me do the math real quick. The odds are not in my favor. Well, I mean, it's even if you don't do anything and I decide to hit you, then it's 18% chance that I get a penalty and everything is gravy for you. Yeah, true. All right, so... So, do we go ahead and make the puck here? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you, you rolled perfectly, right? You, you didn't roll the fail, so you can keep going. Okay, okay. Because, because, because the puck the only works if there is also a fail. Got you. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I like that. Um, all right. So, wow. Here's the thing. I should make you <laughs> make the decision on whether or not you want to come in on me. I think I will call that end of turn and change line. All right. So, line change. Yep. Go ahead. That is a correct call, I'm pretty sure. Because we're rolling six dice with one reroll, eh, yeah, it's not, not gonna end well, probably. You could have moved here, of course, but I don't know. Yeah. 
Okay, question to me now. <laughs> Do I want to hit that That's guy? That's why I want you to make the choice. Uh, okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna regret it. Look at me go. So I, I hit you. He, he is kicked out there, and now... Uh, yes! Whew. Wow. <laughs> okay, now let's try to capitalize here. Damn it! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Don't play like this. I, I'm, I'm making bad moves. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay, he moved. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta do it. <laughs> Line change. Yeah, turn. Woo! Okay, so I'm looking at this like. I gotta get adjacent to you here, so let me just smooth this die down so I know where I'm rolling. What's your Okay, new... I like this line line. What's your new card? Oh you know what I didn't do? I didn't lay a card down. Right, because you did before you did line change, correct? Go ahead. Um Wait, which which one do you want to? I'm thinking about uh <laughs> Let me flip this over so I don't get confused. Uh, let me zoom in here. You can press space. Or, or, or Z. Then it becomes uh, big and easily readable. I'm going to try to reroll penalties here because I got to... I can't do it. Right. I can't even hit him anyway because he's... I got to bring my defenseman up. Well, I mean, your defenseman can reach there with two activations, but problem with defensemen, if you move them too too far forward, yeah, right. then they're not there where you need them. They're, they're going <laughs> to take forever to come back. Correct. Um, you know, move two different players on a reaction. Okay, so i got to watch that. I think what I will do, though, is leave my, get my defenseman there, because that's going to prevent him from passing, at least for now. Unless he moves here. Nope, he'll have to move here and he can't for two turns. So let's uh, let's try to... Well, he could move down here. So i got to leave that guy there. This is crap. Um, this is a tricky situation because I really don't know. I don't have any way of doing anything. Well, I mean... Let's just move guys. I, I, my plan is simple. I'm just trying that at the end of my uh, turn, uh, you need at least three activations to take a pack from me, uh, which kind of makes sure that you'll use some rerolls at least. Right. Let's roll this one for that move. Okay. All right. And then we are, we're going to set up for a breakaway here. You haven't checked me yet, though. That's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to reroll. Yep. Go ahead. So, two dice, though, right? Reroll this one. Okay, we good? Uh, or did I roll two? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you rerolled one already, right? Yeah, so you only need one. to reroll this one. Okay. Oof. Perfect. Good. Good job. All right. So you are checked. Now I got a poke. Uh, but you just. I just moved, moved him. You're right. Yes, I got to remember <laughs> but that. We'll, we'll, say, we'll, we'll, say, we'll say that do it this way. We'll say that you moved this first. Then you move that first, the, the second. And now you can move it. Yeah. That's something I've got. To, I've got to remember to. That's one thing I'm liking. Really liking about this is you really got to think. It's not one of those yep. just toss the puck to me and score games. No, no, no. The priority is who you activate when you use the rerolls. It, it's uh, whoa. Ooh, that's not. That's <laughs> not a good roll at all. But that's a painful reroll as well. So. <laughs> um, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that my. I think I'm set uh, up pretty good here, except for this guy here is now available for a pass. And to enter the zone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm I'm going to have to reroll. Go ahead. Um, and I reroll all the dice, right? 
Yes. So there's no blanks. All right. Oh. Oof. Nice. It's not bad, that bad, actually. Uh, so uh, that was for stealing the puck. So you're getting the puck, first of all. Unless you want to reroll, of course. Absolutely not, if I'm getting the puck. <laughs> okay, so you get, you get the puck, and then I get the reaction. Now, you always get only one reaction, regardless of how many of these okay. uh, you roll. But, but I can move two players, so... I need to make sure that you're not doing anything really nasty with this. Uh... Yeah, I gotta move this guy over here. There will be one, and this will be the second. Okay. So now we're going to pass the puck. Ah, but you just, I just stole it, you. right? Right, okay, okay. <laughs> and I can't move him over, but you know what I can do? I can go one, two, and three. Ah, but then you're offside. Ah, you're right, crap. That's why I can't move <laughs> this guy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to score so bad. Uh, I know, Let's, uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take this guy. Um, one. Yep, that would be a, a, a straight line. All right, let's just move him. Do I want to go up or down? Let's do it like this. <laughs> ah, this is the better of the move right here, in my opinion. I think so. It's also more defensive. Defensive positioning. All right. So, okay. So I got to roll die. Four die. That's a four dice. Yeah. And here we go. Yes. Boom. Pretty good. Um, there is a reaction, so it's up to you if you want to let me or not. Yes. I'm not sure if you should re-roll three dice, though. So yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to get the reaction. Okay. Uh, I will then. Oh, uh, protect myself from this and then I will block you from this no yes okay yeah it's fine like this okay and you keep keep going if you want to I think Should I take we're both playing a very defensive play so far yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm going to play wow alright yep I'm going to pass the puck here just remember that he's checked, unless that puck uh, takes off. goes past him, yeah. So since he's checked, let me think about how I want to do this. That's five dice. Is the risk worth it? You know what? No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. I think I'm going to do a line change. Yep. I think it's the right call. And my last card here. And... Yeah, I think my line card actually messed messed up your plan. Yep. Because I was able to move so many players, <laughs> just just blocking every him potential. Him and him, yep. Pass avenue, yeah. Okay, I need to get this moving. Uh, stealing the puck. Yes. Good Got steal. Uh, I did steal the puck. Now I need to move here. Oop, it's a card that's not this. There it's this. Uh, do I want to let you do this? Uh, do this. You're going to block that pass? No, you won't block that pass because then I'll just move. Ah, agonizing choices. Yeah, I'm going to reroll. Welcome to the game, Cave. Perfect. I'm uh, going to reroll again. We are playing a game Oof. that's going to be released uh, okay, on the 7th. Okay, so that was that move. Uh, Slap shot. Re -rolls. So far, I'm enjoying it. That's a pass. Let's see. That goes. Ah, just doing perfect rolls, am I not? Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. You're forcing my hand for my defenseman. But you get still get a reaction, right? Yeah. Well, I get one. And I think right now is the perfect opportunity... To do, I gotta, I gotta block his line at least. And uh, no diagonally though. Oh, not diagonally. Yeah. So here, come here. Because if if reactions would be diagonal, you don't score ever. I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> well yeah. Every, might right. Everybody could block everything. Yeah, true. All right, uh, it's your turn. Foot, welcome. 
Four line, welcome, buddy. <laughs> you can hit my poor center <laughs> with at least two different defense. Yeah, he might he might be out for the game here. This might be a <laughs> this might be calls for a, for a fight. Um. Okay, so first move I'm going to make here is. So with which one? Okay, that that's only offense. It looks like so. Let's. Um, oh, I was just checking out my card. Yeah, I can quickly explain what this means. Uh, basically, the slap shot is when you, uh, well, in in the game, the slap shot is when you trying to score a goal uh, from outside the zone. So basically, if I'm trying to shoot from here, oh. that would be a slap shot. Uh, and normally, how slap shot works is for every line the puck is crossing, you add two dice to the roll. And slap shots cannot be rerolled. Aha. So no, normally they're very kind of last ditch efforts. Like if you're running out of time, you're like, okay, let me just try it, and just without even entering the zone, you do a slap shot. Uh, with this card, it's a bit safer proposition because you you don't if you if you basically if you try to uh, shoot from only across the blue line, then it's almost like a normal shot, except you don't get to reroll it. Okay. All right, so let's check you here. Not going to hit me? I don't know if I want... Well, you know what? <laughs> it is my first round of rolling, so that's probably actually a good idea. Yeah, if, if, you, if you are going to, to hit, the, this is, this this is when is you do time. it. The this question is, is, though, do you do it with this guy or do you do it with this guy? Because if you, push me with, if you hit me with this one, then I, I'll be pushed over here. And will block your potential pass. But if you hit me with this guy, I'll be pushed over there, mm. and this guy will be open. I see what <laughs> you're thinking. You're thinking like I should be thinking. Uh, yeah. So let's. Uh, Hoo -hoo. Um. So many options. <laughs> I know. Moreover, if you hit me here, no, okay, let, let me. I, I have this tendency <laughs> to try to start to explain. No, no, you're you're fine. Uh, the player's out. <laughs> no, because you're you're thinking you're 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 thinking ahead of the game. Um, yeah, because this one, I mean, we played hundreds upon hundreds of matches. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. So, yep, let's go ahead and boom. Okay, so a hit, right? That's going to be a hit. Okay, so you can kick me out anyway. Now let's see if it works or not. Okay, Whew. perfectly executed. Smack the poor guy, got the puck from him. Okay, and let's go ahead and... If I may, some small thing. Yeah. Like, for example, this guy right now, it makes no sense to pass to him because he's checked, right? Right. But if he would be here... Okay, moving back. He's out of the check zone. You can, uh, you can check anybody, correct? Or is that is or is, was that the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you have any player adjacent to you orthogonally, uh, any opposing player, gotcha. uh, then the player... Otherwise, everybody would just uh, move their defenseman forward. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not, not how it's supposed to work. So I got an idea. I, I am going to use your idea first. Okay. So we'll move that guy and roll two. And I got to fail. Uh, well, there's always rerolls for that. I'm going to reroll uh, one. I got to roll two, though, right? Yep. There we go. Perfect. Now, clean move. Let's make a let's make a pass. Go ahead. Three die. Yeah. Ooh. Perfect. Ooh. Clean and and the best of all, this guy can actually move now. That's true because it's uh, his turn. Uh, so we can move three. One, two, three. Yeah. We finally got a breakaway. 
Okay, this starts to look dangerous. <laughs> Roll four. Roll four right now. Oh. Okay, it's actually not bad. So here's the thing. If you, the, the, what could be worse if if there would be a reaction there? Uh. Because the, then I would have moved my defenseman back and I would be able to hit you, but not not now, right? Moreover, I'm only at one reroll. So you're in a good position now. Unless you, of course, want to reroll all, all of these. <laughs> mm. No. Let's not. Let's, let's not take <laughs> okay. a chance. We finally broke the blue line. Yeah. All right. So uh, my turn. We actually are four turns from the end of this period. Do, 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 do. And now let's see how I need to save my ass. Do, do, do. Well, rule number one, uh, check the opponent first. <laughs> uh, I'll do it like this. And the reaction. Yeah, I mean, I cannot afford re-rolling this. Go ahead. Uh, check players <laughs> cannot move on reaction move. Just and being checked, I can't move or pass. No, no, passes are fine. Shots are fine. Like if if this guy wouldn't be moved by me over here, you would be already uh, eligible for a shot. Actually. Okay. So uh, you can just use uh, this like extra move to position your player in a more uh, uh, advantageous position for later turns. Ah, but only one space, right? <laughs> yes, you're right. All right. Did you uh, change your line? Uh. Did I change my line? Okay, no, no, I didn't. I see. No, I, didn't. I see what you did. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you you don't have to, but I liked it. And then I'll continue doing nasty stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> Wait, or, or you moved it already? Yeah, yeah, I already moved it. Yeah, one. Because I tried. Ah, okay. I tried, I tried <laughs> I to move still... three, and you you scolded me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I was for some reason I thought you didn't, <laughs> and then I'm waiting for you. Anyway, uh, so that was my uh, first move to check. Cannot steal the buck yet, but I will try to open some potential passes later on. Roll a fail. Uh, okay, I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna regret this. Uh, watch, watch me. Yes, regretting this. <laughs> 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 oh, it, oh, it happens every time. 18% chance, but no. No. All right, good. Now you have to score, you see. I do have to score here. Uh, I've got to... Man, I got very few things. Like I could pass backwards, but then I have to come back. So let's not do that. I uh, know he will be uh, automatically pushed out of the zone as soon as the puck leaves the zone. Uh, all the offensive players move out. Oh, uh, okay. Adjacent. Yeah. Straight across. Okay. Yeah. So let's go here for my first move. Yeah. Roll one. All right. Perfect. I can't move him again, so let's. Uh... Well, you can pass. <laughs> I could. Now, would that consider him being checked? Yeah, but who cares? I mean, the the position would be slightly better, right? You could be then moving something else, and then maybe passing again. Well, okay, uh, I'll be silent here. <laughs> I think you'll okay. figure it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, one, two, three. All right. So I'm gonna move here. Okay. Wait, I didn't pass. Yeah, I think you should. 
maybe wanted to pass first. I do want to pass first. Let's let him back. And... Ooh. Oops. Alright, so I only got to roll one die. I think I can successfully do that. Well, if if that would be me, I, was, I wouldn't be so sure, but I'm <laughs> sure you'll, you'll handle. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you okay with me making that reaction? Yes. Okay. Uh, what is your plan? So you want to go there. Uh, I'll do something weird. Which will be this. Okay. Maybe maybe it's a mistake. But we'll see. You only have one reroll. I should be fine. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm thinking about trying to get this. I got to figure out. Oh, I know how. See, I haven't moved him yet because I just passed. So let's move him yep. there. Yep. And I need successes. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> that hurt. Uh, you know what? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Yes. It's actually good. It's actually good, yes. All right, so I'm pretty much screwed. I, I'm currently blocking this shot. Yeah. By the way, he can shoot from here. Uh, oh, he can. Yeah, he could. Uh, I mean, if the if I wouldn't have moved this guy, he would be able to shoot right from there. He wouldn't ah, even need okay. to. Uh, and I cannot move here because then I will open this one. But if I don't move here, he can pass back and just shot shoot like this. So I am kind of doomed slightly. Uh, let's, 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 uh, what do I need to do? Yeah, I'll do this. Won't hurt. Oh, I can move two, right? Yep. So the second one will be this. Oh, this is actually good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this, is for all pass? The, this is for all the marbles. I'm going to pass down here. Or up there. Or down there. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Still, I'm gonna yeah. pass this guy no here. Okay, no rerolls. No Let's re see how it goes. Oh, I can't watch. Oh my god! Oh my god! This actually succeeded. Because <laughs> 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 because reaction would be bad and fail would be bad. So basically, any of these was very three percent chance to be bad, and you did it anyway. Great job. Whoa. Okay, so now you technically can simply shoot at the goal, uh, unless you don't want to. How this works? If you shoot at the goal, you can do it because there is straight uninterrupted line to the to the net. Uh, if you don't roll any fails, that's a goal. Okay. Right there. If you roll oh, one fail, then it will be a rebound. So the puck will fly in, bounces, and goes back. And then for every puck, it moves one more. Oh, okay. And if you roll double fail, then the goalie got the puck. Okay. So that's how it works. All right. Question is, do you gonna do it or not? Because you don't have any rerolls left. And you see how big difference the rerolls uh, have. Like if you had just one reroll, that would be almost automatic goal right now. I would because, love. I, mean... I would love. <laughs> I knew I, I knew taking that chance would, would, would screw me. But I think I'm taking but here the we shot. Are. I'm taking the shot. I, I have no choice but to take a shot. And I could rest up. You could poke, check, pass, and all that. Except I don't have any rerolls either. And you don't have any <laughs> rerolls. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a poke, poke, poke. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call that my turn. Wow. Okay. This is this is actually... I think this is a correct call. Uh, especially considering how I'm rolling. <laughs> but, and you have time, right? You still I have got, one, yeah, more I got one more turn. I got more, one more round. Okay. Let's see if I can save me from this. 
well, I have to steal first, otherwise I'm just dying already. So, okay, roll one, stealing with the with the defenseman. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's paid off for you. <laughs> well, actually, this this is my own fault for getting in the position where I have no rerolls left. Well, that's it. Just roll one dice. <laughs> that's it. Here we go. He shoots. He scores. <laughs> nice. And on the last minute, just like your team didn't do. Yeah, just uh, that like they didn't do last <laughs> night. Wow. Well, here's a trick shot for you. Uh, this is like one period. You can play one period as a friendly game, just quickly. Uh, one game and be done with it, or uh, like if you want a proper hockey match, then you play three periods. Three periods, and then whoever sco scored the most wins. Okay. Well, I can safely say that I like the game, and I can Glad to hear. see playing this quite often. Now, here's the question I got for you and for the viewers: uh, When will when's the game release? Okay, so um, here's that. Uh, we launched on Kickstarter on the 7th. Okay. Uh, I hope everything goes well. Uh, if it does, then we... In the best scenario, we this is like for, for us best scenario, we want to have copies by the time of Pax and Plagued, and which is uh, mid-December. Uh, then So maybe... But this is like if everything goes well, right. then we we get we get to that expo and uh, around that time. But it's December, so I would say safely would be to assume that backers will get their copies somewhere around January, February. Oh, okay. Because because sense. winter winter uh, shipping is very very tricky. <laughs> I just don't want to promise something that we will not be able That's to true. Yeah. fulfill later on. But uh, I would say uh, January, February, uh, we should have this produced we're gonna have uh, two versions so um, uh, you have like a basic game with unpainted miniatures and then we have uh, a bit more money we have the uh, pre-painted version awesome. so you, you, you so the, they will be painted at the factory and some people asked us if they can get unpainted uh, minis as well so we're gonna have this as an add-on probably so if you want to paint them in your favorite team's color you can just get this small box and just have these to quickly start playing and then get a set to paint them the way you want. What uh, what stretch goals do you have in mind? Oh, lots of them, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's all down to how uh, how well everything goes. True, true. Uh, we're going to start with gameplay stuff. Uh, we're going to start with uh, things like more line cards. Uh, we have some ideas. One, one of the things we are uh, considering doing is to have, uh, uh, I think, uh, basically uh, stadium cards, I'm calling them right now. We might change the name at some point, but I don't know. Which would be basically like a, a set of cards which affect the entire game. And then you can have like, a, you can play, let's say you're playing a tournament or whatever with your friends, then you can decide like randomly on which st or not randomly on which stadium the game's happening and that will affect the game so example of that would be so you remember how the passes work right mm -hmm. they veer off only if you roll the fail but for example a stadium card can say that uh, a pass always goes further if you roll any pucks so, and okay that will change how you play rather substantially and so these cards will do things like okay this stadium card lets you uh, Reroll uh, hits, or uh, another will. I have a list somewhere. Check quickly. Sure. What had we there? Yeah, like something like you can only do a line change when you exhaust all your stamina, for example. So you have to be more careful how you use uh, rerolls and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, obviously, like if we get to a bit uh, higher backer numbers, then we can do cool stuff like new plastic uh, or different sculpts this is uh, I think uh, but what, what do you want to see there that's a good question actually 
because we what, what we do what we like to do is we like to communicate with backers and uh, see what people want and then try to see if we can accommodate that. Because I think the benefit of Kickstarter is that it's a collaborative effort uh, with greater and the backers. Right, right, right. No, no, I, I ask exactly what you're saying. Um, there's really nothing uh, that I think I would, I mean, me personally, out of the box, this game would be great. I uh, don't know if there's anything that I could say. I'm, try, I'm trying to go through uh, some of the, the things that people love about the hockey game, other than the actual hockey game. Uh, each team, and I know you've got your cards here, but what have you thought about doing like each team having a special ability? Uh, yes. Uh, here's the thing, a little story back into the design of this game. Okay. So when we started, uh, we actually had one card for every. So it, it would be something like this. Like you would have, like, let me put dice away. So you would have like five, five cards. Uh, each would reference a number and the players would be numbered. And this guy would do, be doing this. This guy would be doing this. Now on, on paper, this sounds great. <laughs> but in reality, what happens is you have to track a lot of stuff. Right. For both you and the opponent, yes. and it's it slowed the game so much. Like, like, what what ability do you have? What ability do you have? What can that guy do? Ah, this is this guy. I ah, know this is that guy. And at some point, then we cut out two cards, and it was three cards which were based on the player types. So your defenseman would do one thing, your wingers would do another thing, and your center would do the third thing. And guess what? Well, <laughs> that these two also got cut. <laughs> <laughs> And we, it went basically it, oh, after countless testing matches. We we just realized that one ability uh, kind of covers the necessity for it. That now makes we sense. can we can make like a, an ability for a team, but then it will be slightly less, I think, uh, exciting than the cards which there are right now because these change, right? So you don't get the same situation. Like, yes, yes we, I have four cards, you have four cards, but they collide in different timings. So I might have this at this point and you have this ability at that point, but on the other uh, on the other period they will right. come out in the different timings. So the game state changes a lot. Yeah, with uh, preset uh, team abilities, that wouldn't work. What what we think though is that you can try to build your teams because this is effectively your team ability, yeah. the four cards you have. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what we may do, we can maybe make like presets. So like take this ability, this ability, this ability, this ability, and that's team A something. Uh, we had some requests to make uh, a small like paper blanks or whatever for uh, for tournament play. So that we are probably gonna include at some point yes. in stretch goals. Definitely, so, definitely one thing I like in stretch goals, and 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 it sometimes determines whether or not I, I back a game uh, or not is if they have a variant to where I can create. So as as a backer, I also want to be able to create, say, a line card. So with a blank line oh, card. Oh, yeah. Ah, you mean like like blank completely? Yeah, we we can we can do it. Like what we had in mind uh, originally was to have like to add the line cards uh, like in an interactive way. So you we can have some sort of voting. Like we have this card or this card. We should like you which card do you like best, and then we include that. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this, but I really want us to do this. But we'll see. Uh, but the idea to include blank cards, sure. Uh, it's gonna be hard with artwork, though. I don't know what to draw there. But just just a random player. Yeah, that's probably exactly how I would approach it. Just a even if it's just a player standing there, or or, or a guy on a bench, or you know whatever, or even even, yeah. even another card like uh, your coach here. Um, yeah. You know something like that it could be called assistant coach or whatever. Um, but the only thing I'm saying, the only thing I say is. The way you've got it here is actually kind of brilliant because with, I think you even mentioned it, with a single team ability, you have zero variance, where the four cards gives you four possibilities 
each time you make a decision, which is to put in a new line. And that's, yep. that's an actually, that's actually a brilliant way of solving that issue. So I kind of like that. I'd rather have this than that team ability. Um, I think, or I hope that this is going to be a very successful game for you guys over. No, I hope so let too. Let me ask you this. How long did it take you to develop this game? Oh, uh, not that quick, actually. <laughs> this 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 one is in development for a while. Uh, for uh, it's since last spring, so a bit more than a year. Oh, okay. I would say. Okay. So but but but, but but for this, uh, it's a relatively game uh, mechanic wise. I mean, it's not it's not like there are like three hundred cards, you know. And some of our other games, which we did before, uh, are much more complex when it, when it comes to how much stuff needs to be developed True. and stuff like that. But for this relatively simple game, we did a lot of development work. So this is what I'm saying, that it's it, it taken a lot of time. Because I, I, we really wanted to polish this down. Because, um, I mean, uh, we're, I'm, I'm from Latvia, and we're very big on hockey. Uh, and my uh, basically, my co-designer on this game, he's... Uh, he used to be a professional hockey player. Now he still plays hockey, but he used to be playing for national team. Oh, uh, and so he, I mean, he's he's basically producing this uh, like sanity check that like okay, do do these me me mechanisms make make sense? Ah. Like, does it feel like the thing? Right. So so uh, we, we we tried really hard to basically make it feel just right. This is why we didn't want to rush it. This is why we took took our time with it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. That's a good call. Yeah, this is a, definitely a fun game. Um, now, the last question I really have for you is, is probably one of the most important questions. And it's only important because uh, I myself will end up playing this game again prior to receiving the physical copy. Uh, All right. Like I said, I stream on... Uh, Saturday nights, usually 10. Yep. Uh, I would be playing this game during my stream again. So the question is, when Great. is it going to be live on Tabletopia for us to play um, and test, or not test out? Uh, well, at the very least, I can I can leave the room there so you have access to the room. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try to make it live for everybody. Uh I mean, the, this link, the very link, will be posted on Kickstarter when we launch. Because our approach to these things is we provide everything on ah. the start. We, 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 we give tabletop access. We give print and play. We don't want to sell you a cat in a sack. Right. Like, we, we want you to know exactly what you're getting what into. What are you uh, getting? This is perfect. So, uh, short answer is yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's been... Uh, I don't know why everybody doesn't use the tools that are available for them tabletopia tabletop simulator these are great tools especially for creators to get in and let people touch the game oh yeah and i there's yeah. what 1800 projects on kickstarter right now i think is what it said maybe i, I might have misread it it might be in the thousands but anyway only a few of those are actually on these platforms yeah, it boggles my mind. It boggles. I mean, I, I even did. Uh, there's this uh, podcast uh, on game design, mm -hmm. uh, the board game design lab. Oh, okay. I hope I'm yeah. not mixing it up. So I, I actually I, I was that podcast once and I, on just this topic, like testing games uh, and uh, demoing games through digital means, and I think that everybody should use it because I mean everybody wins. Like I, I'm 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 testing all my games like this. Like most of our games are actually created digitally before I even touch the physical prototype. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's a good call. All right. Well, I think that's all I've got for you. Uh, do you have anything to add? Uh, well, I mean, I just hope that uh, the viewers enjoyed this little demonstration. And if uh, you like what you've seen, consider backing us. Uh, and thank you very much for uh, basically joining me 
uh, inviting me to have this demo with you. Excellent. Uh, very much appreciate it. I hope uh, we'll uh, play more games in the future. I'm sure we will. Uh, so yeah, just you have yourself a good day and good luck on the Kickstarter. I will be following it. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. And we'll see. Bye. You. That was already from Slapshot. I said slap shot, trick shot, my fault. Uh, great game. Uh, he mentioned it a little bit. Um, the mechanics of the game make you feel like you're actually playing hockey. Um, it's got a very, very neat dynamic as far as the player movements, checking, passing, the die themselves are uh, unique as far as what the abilities can do. Uh, you've got line cards here that you can, uh, every time you do a line change, you lay a new card or a new ability down. Uh, you have re-rolls that are subject to a certain amount. And of course, every round, the time ticks down the mechanics of the game are brilliant uh, I think this game is going to do very well in my experience which isn't great or is vast but from what I have seen thus far this kind of game here especially with polished mechanics like this shouldn't have an issue getting funded so I appreciate everybody who did join me today on the Game Cave. And um, if you have not followed us, think about it. Think about following us. And definitely check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to us on there. This video will be on YouTube probably tomorrow afternoon. So um, until next Saturday, again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you.